Hi there. In this tutorial, we're going to give a brief overview of exactly what a database is. Now, a database, more than anything, is a collection of tables, and a table is nothing more than a collection of information that you'd like to manage. So we're going to give this entire discussion in the context of a sample movies database that we've provided with QuerySmith, and the data for that database comes from a website called themoviedb.org. Now that website has uh, a, a very extensive list of popular movies and the actors that were in the movies, a collection of image information and trailer information as well. So we've copied a bunch of that information into a sample database that you can query and uh, we're thinking that uh, it'll be easy for people to learn what a database is by, by having a look at what your favorite movies and your favorite actors are. So we're going to show you how you can poke around a new database using QuerySmith to, to learn uh, what's in it, uh, learn the structure of it and uh, different things like that. So we're going to uh, talk about that as well. So we should begin by talking about exactly what a table is. If you look at this Excel worksheet here, what we have is a collection of movies. Now each row in this uh, worksheet that we're looking at has the identical structure. So on the left hand side we've got a unique movie ID that we've assigned to each movie. Now if we've got two movies that happen to have the same name we can tell them apart because they've got uh, this unique movie ID number. We've recorded the name of the movie as well. We've recorded what language the movie was filmed in. We've got a rating value from 1 to 10. We've got the uh, release date of the film, if it happens to be known. Uh, we've got the runtime length in minutes of the film, and we've got the budget and revenue figures for the film as well. So a table is nothing more than a collection of rows that each have the identical column structure. So basically, anything that we have an interest in managing, we have thousands and thousands of movies we want to uh, record. Every movie row within our movie table happens to have the same structure. And that structure allows us to have very extensive uh, uh, query capabilities and searching and sorting capabilities that we'll be able to take advantage of when we want to go looking for specific movie information. So this uh, table structure here of movies is one table that we're interested in managing. But if I flip over and I can have a look at a second worksheet, I have a second worksheet that contains a list of people that work in this movie. Now, that may be that they are actors in films, but it also includes information for producers and directors and costume designers and lighting uh, personnel and sound editors and things like that. So anybody who's associated with working on a film is recorded in this uh, people table. So what I'm going to do now is just have a look at the relationships that might exist between pieces of information in a database that we're interested in. We've talked about two tables so far. We've talked about the, a movie's table and we've have a, had a quick look at the information that was recorded in there. We also had a look at a people table and this is the list of people that work in the movies. And then what we've got is a table that associates the, the people that worked in a given movie. Uh, if we take an example, for example, Julia Roberts, we all know that Julia Roberts is a very famous actress and she's worked in a variety of different movies and so we're going to be able to have an association between what movies she was in in this uh, movie people table. And again, if you take a look at uh, a movie that she was in, something like Ocean's Eleven, for example, that's uh, a movie that had a number of actors and so for each actor in that movie, we'll see a record in this uh, movie people table. So a database is a collection of all these different lists and the lists have relations with one another so that you can tie the information together. So we can also take this in another direction. For example, if we have a look over here, we know that every movie is produced by a movie studio and we know that movie studios produce usually a wide number of films. So the studios exist of their own right and then we've got a movie studios table that associates a movie and a studio together. Same thing with uh, countries. Every movie's uh, filmed in one or more countries. So we've got a list of the countries in the world and we've got a list of uh, what countries a particular movie happened to be filmed in. 
we've got a list of categories that a movie can be classified in and this could be drama or comedy or thriller or different things like that and we know that uh, a movie can have multiple classifications that you might have for example uh, a comedy thriller so that would just be an example of where we associate one movie with uh, multiple categories so a database is a collection of all these different lists of information that we want to manage and it's a definition of the relationships that exist between the different lists that we want to manage. So let's now use QuerySmith to have a look at the movies database and we'll see how we can uh, poke around this database and learn a little bit more about its structure from using QuerySmith. So on the left hand side we've got the list of the tables and views in a database. We're only going to talk about tables for the time being and as we select different tables in the left hand list all of the supporting windows on the bottom of the query editor will update and they'll give you information about the table that you have selected so if we look at our movies table this is the table that we saw in excel we can see a description of the table name by looking in the table comments section we can see a explanation about each of the columns that exists in the table. We can learn the column names. We can learn a little bit about the comment information or the description about what it is that that column does. We've got the data type that that column contains, its position within the table, and also an indicator for whether or not the column is required in the table. So if we were to insert a new row, we've got a flag indicating whether or not a value has to be in the column uh, or not. And that becomes significant when we're uh, searching for data uh, later on. We'll, t we'll defer the discussion of that uh, for a brief amount of time and we'll cover that in a later tutorial. We've also got a sample data tab that we can flip to and you'll see information that's very similar to what we saw in the Excel sheet but you'll also see a number of columns that were excluded from the Excel worksheet and we'll, and we'll talk about why. So we can see the movie ID again we can see what, what type it is, whether it's a movie or a movie series, we've got the name we've got an alternative name, you know if the uh, movie was originally uh, either in English and translated to another language or if it was originally filmed in, in something other than English but has an English uh, name we can see both of that recorded uh, here we've also got an overview of the uh, movie now this is uh, quite lengthy information which is why it was excluded from the Excel worksheet that we studied but we can see that we've got uh, that information is available to be queried and we can see some sample data for that Scrolling over to the right, we've got uh, a home page recorded for the movie if you want to go on the web and uh, browse uh, that movie information produced by the studio. We've got a, a number of YouTube trailers for the films that we've got here. Uh, continuing over to the right hand side here, we've got the uh, certification for what the movie is, whether it's an R-rated movie, maybe PG-13. We've got the rating from 1 to 10 the release date. So anyway, we've got all of this different information that we can have a look at in order to gain an understanding of uh, what's in our database and, uh, and as we look at different tables on the left hand side we'll see that the information in the sample data uh, tab is updated. So we've talked a little bit about how uh, all of the different uh, tables or lists we've got on the left hand side are related to one another uh, from our uh, diagram that we were looking at before we can remember that a movie is uh, categorized according to various different things like a drama or a thriller or a comedy we can remember that it's filmed in one or more countries we can remember that it's got one or more actors and, and directors and producers associated with it and it's one or more uh, movie studios that is uh, associated with having uh, created that movie so the relationships uh, browser within QuerySmith will help you gain a bit of an understanding of what the structure is of that database as you're looking to learn it. So that's actually where we're going to uh, stop the discussion for the time being of what the database is. Uh, that basically concludes the tutorial on what a database is so you can learn a little bit about uh, your database using QuerySmith and uh, that's it. I want to thank you very much for watching. My name is Brian Hawes. I'm a developer with Powder Software. Have a great day.